Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am here on a very special occasion. It's a food tour shoot. Hey. Now I asked you guys to send in questions over on my Instagram. Follow me over there if you haven't already. Uh, and I'm gonna ask some of them to Joe and some of them I will answer myself. Okay, we're gonna start off with a Joe question. Uh, Joe, are you faking the accent? I'm faking what accent? Your accent. Oh, bloody hell, mate, you caught me. Yeah, I'm from York. <laughs> they flew me over here, I'm an actor. My yeah. real name's Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, Joe's faking the accent. It's me, it's Gordon from York. <laughs> the next question is for me, and it's, uh, Harry, why you gotta have such bad food opinions, dude? Marmite is not representative of British cuisine. I think this is referencing an insider video that we made right at the start of lockdown when we weren't allowed to go outside and we were trying to make videos from home. So what was asked of me was just to provide a comfort food or something that I like to eat for these challenging times. What I didn't realize is that this was gonna be construed as something that the entire UK likes to eat. So I said Marmite on toast, because for me that's just like a comfort food. And then it was kind of portrayed as like something that every British person likes to do. So uh, yeah, I apologize. Not every British person likes Marmite. I just personally like it and I was not fully briefed on the assignment. Okay, it's another Joe question. Which is better, McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. I thought Burger it... King's not even the top 10. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, not top 10. No, I hate, I hate Burger King. Damn. I hate it, it's great, it gives me a headache. There you go. Make it these other way, baby. I'll take the next one. Would the UK or the US do a food wars against Australia? Uh, yeah, in short, I'd love to. Uh, it's something that we have been looking at for a while. Logistically, the food wars versus other countries that aren't UK or US are just like a little bit trickier and require a bit more planning, but it's definitely on our list. would love to at some point. Either US or UK could work, I think. It's kind of like a weird hybrid between a few different cultures, Australia. So yeah, I think a lot of different comparison angles there and uh, we'd love to visit as well. Next question, Joe. Can you please describe your perfect sandwich? Oh, Jesus. Big question. No, I can't. It's ridiculous. So a, a perfect sandwich. <laughs> Just like a few toppings, fillings. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I like uh, the, the ham <laughs> minus <laughs> tomato. I don't know. That's, that's the most general question I've ever been asked. Except pass. For the record, the answer is a steak sandwich with sun-dried tomatoes and mozzarella. Ooh. See, they approve, it's not that hard. Two part question. Uh, one, Harry, why do you support Chelsea? I support Chelsea because my dad supported Chelsea. He grew up in Southwest London. We supported Chelsea before we got the money. So I am like an actual Chelsea fan rather than a fake Chelsea fan. Last season was kind of rough. Hoping we rebound this season. Part two of the question. Uh, Joe, do you watch football? Soccer? Uh, if you mean soccer, no. But if you mean American football, no. Next question is for me. Uh, it is, what's the obsession with Owl City? Like, genuinely want to know. Um, it's hard to explain exactly where it started from. I think I just heard Fireflies when it was everywhere on the radio and was like, yeah, this is really good. I like this. Went and listened to the rest of the album, thought, yeah, I like this, and just kind of kept going. In recent years, because of the amount of like hate that Owl City gets, it's kind of become like a sticking point and something that I will just die on this hill for no reason just because I'm a kind of uh, occasionally stubborn person, but yeah. Okay, we've changed location, second shoot of the day. Uh, Joe, more questions for you. Where would you like to travel that you haven't traveled to yet? Oh man, everywhere. I've always wanted to go to um, Greece. I've never been anywhere in South America. I would love to go to like Rio, uh, any place in Argentina. My buddy lives in Colombia, I want to visit him there. Uh, I haven't been to Mexico City yet, so I would definitely want to go to Mexico City. Um, You're only right across the border. Yeah, you said that to Mexico. Yeah, I know. I yeah. Mexico, yeah. <laughs> um, that's just a few. How about you? Uh, where would I want to go? I've never been kind of anywhere in Asia. I'd love to do like Japan and South Korea. Yeah, Japan's incredible. Food tours Japan with George. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Get those, let's get those comments in, uh, <laughs> and, food, and, and Food Insider. Send us to Japan. Next question is, what's the worst thing I've ever eaten? For me, I think it has to be that like concentrated beef flavoring that we ate as part of the fast food chemistry fries episode. I had like the tiniest drop and I've never experienced anything like that. It was honestly horrendous. Joe, next question. What does Harry smell like? Oh, oh God, I don't know. <laughs> Freshly cut grass. Yeah, pass, sorry. <laughs> Freshly cut grass? Freshly cut grass. I'll take it. Mm. Connor says two. Joe smells like coffee and friendship. Mostly <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Okay, that's enough questions for one day. We are shooting. We've got some very exciting content coming for you very soon over on Food Insider. Go subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to Joe. Hey, Connor. And we'll uh, see you all very soon.